Do you guys want to know the difference between 144 hertz and 60 hertz on EFC 25 on the PC? Well, you've clicked on the right video, so let's jump straight into it. As you can see on screen, we are on the menus. The time that I'm recording this video, the servers are basically down. Blame 6 p.m. on a Friday on release day, by the way. Great job, EA. I made this video last year and it was received very well. The feedback was good. And I want to show you guys essentially what you're playing on console versus what you can play on PC. So we're going to go to our options first and I'm going to show you guys the 144 hertz. We're going to go here. We're going to go to 60 with 60 FPS v-sync on because that's basically how or what people were playing i'm going to press apply here and then i'm going to go to my display hertz go to the advance and go all the way to 60. so now right now on screen it will just be 60. i will change this back as you can see it's 60. you can see my window of the game is at the top so right now we're on 60 fps oh oh buddy okay Oh, the lot. My eyes are really weird because I've been playing a lot of 144, but to me, it's looking very, very smooth. Wow. It's a bit of a delay because I think it's just the menus, personally. It's a classic match. We're going to go here. Press that. Little pull. Yep. Uh, man. Yep. I personally think, okay, yeah, it's a bit slow here. Look, this is me pressing it, and then you can see the little delay and the little fade in and out. But overall, it looks decent. It feels decent. I'm going to just play this out, not play the full intro. Oh, wow. Okay. Cutscenes look very smooth as well, mate. EA, uh, you could tell, by the way, EA have really, way, yay, 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 have really put their time and effort into making this game optimized. Like, I'm so happy that EA have figured it out with e with PC. But let's try getting a goal and see what happens and see how that works. So we're gonna through board it to there. Hoyland, okay. I'm just, I'm just, yeah. The gameplay is very, very weird this year. We're gonna go, oh, bro. It does, it feels very not jittery at all, actually. I do this every single year, to be fair. And compared to obviously FIFA 23 to FC 24, it was a big difference in the sense of there's a lot of cutscenes that were very laggy. But oh my words, can we just get the ball and shoot? If you do have a PC and you're wanting literally the smoothest gameplay, I'm literally playing on 60 FPS right now. And it's a bit delayed. Oh my days, I've almost conceded. It's quite, del it's a slight delay, but I feel like that's just the servers right now. That's just EA's, you know, amazing gameplay. But I personally think it's like solid. I can't believe I'm not, I can't score. Oh my days. I personally think the game itself is is playable on 60. And I'm almost, con I've just conceded, haven't I? Nope, I have not. Good job. But yeah, I personally think the game is running so smooth on 60. It's actually run very, very well. It's done very, I personally think it's just solid. EA, you've done a good job. But now I'm going to change back everything to 144. My eyes are really trippy because I'm so used to 144. Right, as you can see, oh, you can't see on the screen. There you go on screen, it says 144. I'm going to keep changes. As you can see, bottom right, it says 143.98, which is basically 144. Now we're going to go setting. We're going to go gameplay settings. Switch to 144 and no limit FPS. Press that. V-Sync off. Cool. And now I feel like you can see. I'm just going to. I'm just going to. You can see the response time. 
and how fast it is. We love that. We love that. We we generally love that. But yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Lovely stuff. So you can see the animations are a bit different and better. Apply. Yep. 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 We're just gonna play because I couldn't score, so we're just gonna. I genuinely. Oh, we're gonna play this out now. Hot damn. For some reason, there's no audio, but damn, I can't believe EA has just somehow optimized this game. EA, mate, thank you, thank you for making my dream come true about PC, man. Honestly, I will be making a separate video on on the PC optimization side of things, but wow, uh, I can't believe it. I genuinely cannot believe it. Oh my days. Yeah, the game's more responsive right now. My eyes aren't tripping. Um, if it was more responsive right now, to say the least, obviously passing is dreadful in this game. But besides the whole gameplay itself, it feels responsive. You know, it's it's good. It's 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 solid, and I, I'm I'm a big fan. Shout out to EA once again, man. PC this year is really is really up a up a notch. With the whole optimization side of things. Maybe not so much on the CPU though. Um, but overall man. Look how. I, I, if you can't tell the difference in the gameplay. I don't genuinely feel it. When it comes to PC. It's quite it's quite mental. How much of a difference there is. Or can it, a simple screen can make. Uh, and this only works if you. This could only work if you actually like hit the threshold of frames and hit the threshold of hertz uh, for your monitors. If you obviously have a 60 hertz, make sure you have more than 60 frames. Same thing with a 144. If you have more than 144 hertz, if you hit more than 144 frames, you should be able to hit 144 hertz quite smoothly and comfortably. Same things applies with uh, 240 hertz, etc. This goes with any game on PC. What a through ball. Uh, let's not mess this up here. Bang it. There we go. Let me just do a gritty because, yeah, mate. Oh, look at that. Smooth animations. We love that. Yeah, we take that. We take that. Mr. Mr. Hoyland. Rasmus. Rasmus. But yeah, man. And yeah, that is the video. That's the video summed up. Um... That's 144 hertz versus 60 hertz. Comment down below if you guys want me to do another video about any comparison for PC, whether if it's high versus ultra versus low settings, and all these extra things that you guys want to find out and know. Comment them down below. It's been your Borger. Subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and peace.